found out that we, due to the price of doing a craft, something like that local is going to be more expensive than what you can get it from the big guys that do thousands of tons a year. So instead of, uh, since I'd already built the malting facility, instead of scrapping that whole idea, I kind of figured that I was either going to be a hero or a zero. I'm still not sure which, but I was going to build a brewery so that I could take the raw product from the from the ground to the malting facility and to the glass. So that's why we do everything here dirt to glass. Dirt to glass. Dirt to the glass. We also do the farm to table for our food truck there, our own beef, all our pork. We grow our own lettuce, tomatoes, everything else in season. So all that part seems to be seems to be working. Some people Farmers that I know would just ride the tractor. They would never think about building something. Um, you know, Barry likes to build things, so he ends up with a, a malt house and a brewery and a few other things going on. What else are you building here? You've got something else going on, not just beer. Yeah, I ended up um, realizing real quick in order for, since we're out in the country, people don't want to come out and just drink beer all day and eat peanuts. They want something to eat so they can make a day of it. So I had to buy a food truck sell another kidney and buy a food truck. About once a month uh, we have a pig roast where we use our pork. And also, like I said, we raise all of our lettuce, our tomatoes, our peppers, just about anything you can raise that we can send through the food truck or sell fresh. So what do you think, I, you know, I want to go to Congress. So what do you think on a federal level I can do um, that would be useful to you here? doing this kind of business and encouraging other people to do this kind of business? Well, I guess the big problem, not just with this business, any any any, any of the business, rather it's a brewery, rather it's a distillery, um, there's so much government red tape and so much tax and so much this. I mean, any business, when you get in it, everybody's got, you know, you got to pay the local, you got to pay this, you got to pay that, you got to, it, 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 it's very hard. For example, what in the farm bill? Is, is useful or important to you? Raising the barley and um, whatnot is not restricted um, much in any way. I guess it has more to do with the alcohol regulations. So Some streamlining the, alcohol regulations would be helpful. Well, at least a common sense approach to it. Until they make a differentiation of a farmer trying to take his product onto the, well, like I'm doing, from the right. dirt to the glass, that needs to be a little, a little more streamlined so that the, so that we can do these value-added things. Uh -huh. um, the other thing that, that you know is, that's going on when, when that can happen though is it's exactly what you pointed out. You know, your um, it benefits the local community in that you know you've got jobs for folks to work here. We've got the benefit of being able to come here uh -huh. uh, and enjoy a meal or a beer on a pretty summer summer day. I mean there. And, and in the tax money generated. I mean, there's lots of lots of really strong reasons to try to do a better job um, to, to capture more of that value from basic ag products in Virginia. I mean, we grow lots and lots of things, the commodity, you know, depending on which one you're talking about, we're, um, you know, some, one of the, you know, a, re a respectably sized ag state mm -hmm. uh, when it's all said and done, lots and lots of income uh, to, to, the, to the Commonwealth. And I, I think the more of that we can capture, uh, throughout that chain here, the better. It just makes sense rather than send it to somewhere else to have it processed and then Absolutely. come back here or buy raw material somewhere else. And so I think a, a big part of it will come when we have um, uh, the ability to, to market and to, and to brand it uh, with Virginia Grown or whatever the, whatever the seal will be. So we also have to have to think about marketing. Yeah, absolutely. If there was any help marketing, that would be great. I mean, if, if I had somebody that was that way over there, their forte to help tell the story, and the story is really nobody hears it except when somebody it's asks a great like story. you. So yeah. hard to get the story out. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if we can help.